First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool! With their giant robots and flowery swords, women! But you? You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick! Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human! Your continued existence is a crime! Your life is all that stands between us and freedom! Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together! Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment! But we're not nervous at all! When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose! Now, human, let's end this right here, right now! I'll show you how determined monsters can be! Convenient water cooler is convenient. You know, that water wouldn't really actually be cool if it was right next to a pot of boiling lava. Or maybe it is, I don't know, I never experimented. Give Undyne the water. Now, I was given a hint by a friend to start to resume recording right now. Because apparently if you've done, hello, if you've done a true pacifist run, okay, 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 I was thirsty so I came over for a waterfall to get a drink. Because I was told that if you do a true pacifist run and get to this point, something is different. I don't see anything different so far. Before we go into the lab, I do have enough money to finish up uh, contributing to the dog shrine. So, for that reason, we're going to go to Snowden and finish paying off all those doggy debts. Actually, I want to go back to Waterfall real quick because I want to see if we could go into Undyne's house now that we've done the true pacifist run up to this point. Because previously we weren't allowed to, but are we able to now? Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! We hang out? Yes, no, we can hang out with Undyne if we've done the true pacifist run. Is that what the thing is different about? Huh, I guess that's it. Thing is, I'm, this is 2.30 in the morning, so I might get in trouble for screaming since Papyrus is here. We'll see how this goes. Do I wait till tomorrow? But then I'm just wasting so much time because I still gotta play through the entire third segment of the game. Oh, I wish this game had multiple save files. Uh, to be considerate to the... Public humanity society, or to work myself to exhaustion and get this done tonight. The fact that. Ugh, Papyrus. You know what? I like this game too much to not give my absolute all, so I guess I will end it here and resume in the morning where I will. If I say no, are you not gonna let me? Hmm, still getting ready? Take your time, thank you. I'll resume this in the morning where I will be able to scream as loud as I want and give you all the papyrus 
a performance that you all desire so greatly. Or maybe you all hate it, I have no idea. So, quite literally, since I'm going to bed, this is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. You mean I could have had this happy pappy menu screen the whole time if I had just kept her alive back in the dizzy day? <sighs> Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we continued our trek through the pacifist run, and we sir and we succeeded in getting through the fight with Undyne, which has resulted in us actually being allowed to see her in her house this time. You can only do this if you've done the true pacifist run. Because I had killed Toriel and one other enemy from before, I wasn't able to go in here. But now that I haven't, I could do this, and it's morning now, so I can be as loud as I stink and want with Papyrus' voice. Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, and diddly deed. Okay, stand behind me! Psst. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. That bone? Hi, Papyrus. So, I was trying to think of, like, her voice, and it then immediately clicked to me she would have Jasper's voice from Steven Universe, but I can't do Jasper's voice. <laughs> oh my god, I love her voice so stinking much, but I can't do it, so I'll just try. I apologize in advance for how atrocious this will be. Hi, Papyrus. Hey, Rose, look what I got. Let's do something like that. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Ooh, nice place you got here. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! What the f- <laughs> He just jumped out the window! What even was that? <laughs> I'm so Why was that so funny? He jumped out the window! <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Maybe? Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Oh, how polite. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Darn, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. Boo ho ho ho, what a joke. I can make friends with a whippy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo, it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? This is amazing. Sit down and progress. Wait, no, I want to progress. Let's examine some things. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh, should I just humor her, or does she want actual facts? I'll humor her. Yeah, I knew it. When I first heard of that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? 
Uh, you got a piano. You're musically gifted, I see. Or it's just a very nice, uh, house piece. One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. How does he eat grapes? Okay. I don't really, I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. In the sink, it's a teacup with the shape in the shape of a fish. Uh, in here, hopefully there's not another dog. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. I like how she just turned to like a singing ham. It's like a paradise. Like when she's first introduced, she looks so evil and serious and everything, but then she turns into everyone's favorite lumpy space Dorito. Uh, let's see. This oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Uh, I forgot to check in here. Lock in. Look inside the bone drawer. Yes. What the fruit? Stinking dog. Uh. Uh, looks like the bone drawer again. Sure. Is anything different? Nope, just the dog. Oh, that stinking dog. There's a silverware drawer. His forks away. I did that already? No, no. Into the fridge. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. We almost died in the heat. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. You mean a microwave? Uh, guess that's it. So we can advance now. Sit down and progress. Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Fire water? Hmm. All set, what would you like? Oh, Jesus! Hey, don't get up! You are the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can see the spear. You can use the spear. Oh my sinking god. Aim with that. Sure, but sugar goes in tea. Select with S. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Uh, hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Select with X. And tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Blatantly correct choice. Select with X. I am a hot chocolate person myself, so I'm gonna go with that. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. So we can't actually have it. Lame. Uh, soda. I don't like soda. I've never had one. Sugar goes in tea. Just sugar? What if I go with a soda? Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed it to it, you don't look happy. Yeah, because I don't like soda. Hey, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It's like she knows me. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Oh. Uh. Undyne, select with X. Uh. This might be bad. Are you hitting on me? Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. Why do I look like the ice cream woman? Do humans ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs of prelude to destruction? Is that it? Sure. What? Really? That rules! Uh, so we have, wait, fridge, full food. A sword, acquired taste, select with X. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords, if you weren't my beloved house guest. Uh, I'll go with the fridge, I just really don't want that stinking tea. The fridge? You wanna have the entire fridge? No! Oh, The fridge? <laughs> she doesn't have anything witty to say, she just says no. Alright, we'll have your stinking tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It would be really boring if we just chose tea right at the beginning. Oh, it was about to be like, wait, you make tea on the stove, but now that's how it works. Oh, it'll make, it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. 
Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's per it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea, uh, of course. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed, kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Empath emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard! So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, a uh, Papyrus. He's gonna pop through the window. But, uh, to be honest... I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. And that's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh my sinking god, that's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give his lesson, you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! My throat's gonna sink and crack. What the fruits? What? 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 You just grabbed me by the head! Let's start with the sauce. My <laughs> guy's singing Love Undying. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong, wimpy. Undying like strong. You punch the vegetables with at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now. What? <laughs> I got just stops and stuff falls into place. We'll add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put that into the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely, careful, fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, wait, there's no water in it. I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Next, repeatedly stir. Who stir harder? Harder! Harder! Ugh, let me do it. 
Jesus Christ, the spear. Ugh, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn off the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold that to turn up the heat. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. Hotter! Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too. This is fine. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus stinks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Oh boy, I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Rah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. A fake attack, interesting. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh, I actually did damage. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You are a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human, it seems like you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him... He probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some ev some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the heck out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Bwah! Now let's get the heck out of this flaming house. It's on fire still. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! That's Undyne's house! It's a great place to, uh... Huff, puff! Yeah, that's my house! Hi, Undyne! How'd you get here so fast? I ran! Wowie, Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! What? 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 It's a living. <laughs> so this was an experience like... I don't know if I should feel bad that I didn't successfully do the pacifist run on the first try, but like, I was so stinking close, and I missed out on that on the first time around, but it's just part of the Undertale experience. Like, I was expecting to fail the pacifist run, or not really fail it, it's just that I was expecting to be in more situations where I would want to 
uh, kill people. That sounds really weird, but I thought there would be more situations like that, but there really wasn't. And all the deaths I did were by accident. And I just feel bad that I didn't do a pacifist run on the first try. If this was, like, just a normal LP, I would be very upset because I wanted it to look all, like, organized and stuff. But it, I just sort of have to... Uh, somewhere it's Wednesday, so be careful. What? Wait, it actually is Wednesday when I'm recording this. He knows I'm here! I wonder if that changes, like, depending on your in-game clock or whatever. Or your console clock or whatever it is. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, I feel bad that I haven't had it, like, perfectly orchestrated and all that jazz. But that's sort of what the experience is like. Let me know, like, what your first playthrough was. Did you get a perfect pacifist run if you were going for that? Or did you do the genocide run on the, your first time around? Uh, let me know, I suppose. Uh, what are we doing back here in Snowden? I just wanted to talk to. This would have been a good time to go to the dog things, but I wasn't, I didn't know one time I was going to go back to his house. So, here they are. Hey, punk. What's up? Achoo. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. Yo! <laughs> So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease! Yo! <laughs> but you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards! Yo! <laughs> I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Well, that's a thing. What do I call them while they're on screen? Snowden, home of papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Oh boy, so presumably that was the thing that would be different. You can never have too many hot dogs. Sadly, that's not true. <laughs> but I presume that was the different thing that I wasn't able to do during the original run. But, um, come again sometime. Tra la la. Okay, Captain Underpants. But, uh, yeah, if there's anything different through here, then I'll be sure to show up. I'm pretty sure that was the thing my friend was referring to that you can only do during a true pacifist run. Because we did try to do it before, and we weren't allowed to. So, I will come back and let you know when we get to presumably the end of the game. Because as far as I'm aware, there's nothing else that's changed. So, see you in just a momento.